So a brand new feature has just been added to my third generation Fire TV Cube and it seems to be rolling out to all Amazon Fire TV devices. Now this feature is called Matter or specifically Matter Casting. If I head over to my settings, go down into display and audio. We can see here a new feature which enables apps on your mobile phone such as Prime Video to cast to your Fire TV. Now, this could be a serious game changer because as you know, there's no native casting ability for Fire TV devices. Obviously, Apple devices have their Apple um, AirPlay. You've got the uh, Google devices with their Chromecast, but there's nothing really for these Amazon devices. So what exactly is Matter and how does it work on these devices? Well, I will do a quick demonstration with Prime Video, but before I do that, let's just have a quick look here. And here we can see that the Matter standard not only unites devices from different brands into one smart home, it also has the potential to become a universal solution for media streaming. So, so just imagine an open standard not tied down to a particular manufacturer or device. And with this standard now, these devices can all communicate. It says that the commands which are already included in the specification, they allow for playback, play pause, channel selection, choosing audio tracks, all of this has already been built in. And it's the key thing here. It says manufacturers can now implement functions which are like Apple AirPlay and Google Chromecast only based on an open manufacturer independent protocol, which does not require any special hardware. So this is why I really do think it can be a game changer because it now means all of your devices can communicate together. They can share notifications, they can share information, giving you a more seamless experience. And below it says Amazon so far is the only one that's made use of this new standard. It's actually coined the new term matter casting, which Amazon now uses in its prime video app, which again, I will demonstrate in just a second. And it says Amazon is now rolling out this update. As long as your device is Fire OS 7 or higher, you should now be able to see this new feature. I will show you how you can check your device for updates in just a second, but do leave me a comment below if you can see this new feature on your device. Then it talks about how the casting actually works. And the key thing is, and the key thing is once you've enabled the casting, I can then switch off my phone. My phone doesn't need to be on. That thing that I'm casting is now casted directly to my Fire TV device. Once you've enabled Matter Casting, it, then the app makes that connection. Then your smartphone becomes an on-screen remote control. So you can play, pause. You can see more information about what you're watching. All of that control is on the phone. But the key thing to understand is even if you switch off your phone, you minimize the app, you go somewhere else, the stuff that you're casting will remain playing. So, which means that casting is completely independent of your phone being on. And anytime you go back into the app, it will then resume exactly where you were and you can then carry on using the controls as you like. So it does sound really good. And here we can see it saying, because the target device receives the stream directly from the internet, the app itself can be closed even after the playback has started without any interruption to the video. So, so definitely a fantastic feature. And when you reopen the app, the smartphone screen updates automatically. Okay, I think that's enough of the blurb. Let's now actually demonstrate this in real time. So I jump back over to my third generation Fire TV Cube. And just to confirm on my device, the version I'm running, which has this feature enabled, if I go down into my Fire TV, let's click on that. Let's click on about, and we can see my device is running 7.6.8.1. And on my device, I see this new matter casting feature. Let's open that up. So again, go back into the settings, go back into display let's click on matter casting and we can see by default it is set to on and if you want to you can enable device verification but i think for that seamless experience let's leave that set to never and let's see now if i can cast from my phone so if i just open up the prime video app on my personal phone okay so here is my personal phone running the prime video app i think you can roughly see what that is and let's say for example i'm going to click on the cast let's click on cast at the top right I can now see some of my devices. Let's select my third generation Fire TV. And now we can see in the background, it says it's ready to cause. So without me installing any third party applications or turning anything else on, because of that matter connectivity, I'm now ready to cause from my phone directly to my third generation Fire TV cube. Okay, so if I now just start something for a quick test, let's go for this one here. And let's click on resume. We can see that starts playing straight away. And we can now see these controls here. So in the background, you can see uh, the series playing. I can, of course, pause that. We can see it's very, very responsive. Press play. If I want to forward that a bit, let's forward it to there. And we see it resumes straight away. And you can see the extra information about exactly uh, who's on the screen. Now, for example, if I turn my phone off, 
that's now off and you can see that has no impact to what we're watching on the screen so because that stream is being received directly from the internet so it doesn't matter if my phone is off or i'm now looking at another application that's completely independent of what we are streaming through matter let's go back to my phone for a second as soon as i unlock my phone it then resumes exactly where we are and we can once again navigate through and that's working absolutely fine so we can do some forwarding we can do some pausing and we can see that's very very responsive and right now the only application that is supported is prime video but the article does say that more and more applications will be enabled for matter casting so whether you're using another streaming application or something else you'll be able to push that content or cast that content directly from your phone directly onto your amazon device the article also says that matter casting also has advantage where the player screen can display more than just videos you can also include push notifications. So if you imagine other devices using the Matter protocol, your washing machine, your toaster, your uh, fire alarm, as you can see in this demonstration here, if there is a notification that needs to go out, that can be then pushed over Matter onto your other devices. So, so I do think this is a great feature and the more and more devices that support it, especially because it doesn't require any particular hardware or any particular manufacturer, because it's an open standard and more and more devices will support it, I do think that will be good news for the future. And I do believe the new Google Streamer 4K also has this ability built in, but I will double check that when I complete my review. So that's pretty much this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below and let me know if you've got this new feature on your device, if you have used it before and what you think of it. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.